Oh shit! Oh shit! What's going on guys? So check this out, right? My alarm clock broke, so what I'm gonna attempt to do is fix it. Now I know that sounds kind of cheesy or corny or whatnot, but we're going to try to fix it with our own power supply. Here is the old radio. I went ahead and took the screws out of it and popped it open. The power supply, which is this over here, it runs in and comes into this board. This is basically the control board for the entire thing and then this over here controls the sounds and some of the mechanics and stuff. But if you flip it over on the back you can see those dark spots right there alright that's where it's burnt out mainly right there where my thumb is pointing so what I'm gonna try to do is bypass it the power from the cord runs in it gets picked up by the transformer and then all these capacitors step it down so it comes in as 120 volts and then it gets stepped down a couple times to probably 12 volts and then it looks like it gets stepped down again yeah, to 5 volts and then over here this is just a big mess I mean all the capacitors are bent and twisted and everything so that's what we're going to try to do we're going to try to put one of our own power supplies in it now let's go over here real quick see if I can't find a power supply yeah okay so that's what we need right there all right so I'm gonna try to take one of these or I could probably just try to fix it I'm not sure we're gonna open it up and find out what to do so just just stick with me for a second and we'll go from there set the camera down so that way y'all can see what it is that I'm doing Got flux. Take a little solder. Take this. And I'm going to try to put that capacitor on there. See, I've already went ahead and put this into place. Um, but our, our actual problem, for some reason, is jumping over here and it's causing this to arc. So what I'm thinking about doing is bypassing it straight to there and that way it doesn't go through the transformer. You see what I'm saying? So that's the actual plan. And really all I need to do this is like one one little cable sh or one little wire should should be enough. All right, so I got my wire here. I'm going to snip it. Snip it. Snip it. Ah. There it goes. Snipped. Alright. And then what you're going to do is just give it a little twist. Like so. Alright. Now I have zero idea. Honestly. I have zero idea if this is even going to work. Uh, basically I'm just kind of bored. What the hell I do with the solder? Oh, it fell. Basically, I'm bored right now, and this is what we're trying to achieve. So let's just put a little solder on it. Come on. Get on there. Just need a little bit. All right. So, let's see here, let's get this attached here. Just need it to get kind of hot. Come on. Might take a moment. It's not hot enough. 
Well, that figures. Salter. Okay. So I got one of the wires attached. Let's go ahead and we're going to here we're going to take yellow so I have blue for positive and yellow for negative so we're going to come over here clip a yellow wire wait a minute there we go give us a nice little pull so that's really all we need is just a little pull and then we'll be good and then I'll go ahead and get the other side going. So just need a little. Perfect. Got it. Okay. So now since I got my two leads soldered on right there, as y'all can see, I'm going to go ahead and try to bridge them over to this side. And then I'm going to take it outside and plug it in and see if it works. Because it could catch fire. And if it catches fire in my room, that is not good. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and attach this wire to the... I'm skipping the transformer and going straight to the lead, uh, which is basically what I'm trying to do. So I'll just set the camera back down. All righty. Let's go ahead and grab a little salter. Usually you're supposed to wet your sponge. Um, I don't really care for all that right now. Okay, so let's see here. That's where it comes in, and the green line runs there to the transformer, and then the transformer reconnects to the other side of the PCB. So that's what we want right there. Is that. Alrighty. So that's the positive side. Right? I believe that's the positive side. I do not recommend doing this at home. If your shit breaks, throw it away. It's so much cheaper to buy a new one. I'm just doing this for basically for entertainment for you guys and for me. So let me go ahead and. Alright, so I'm trying to fix this and I hope that it does not go horribly wrong. So let's just heat up that terminal. It takes it a few seconds to get hot enough to where it will liquefy. Alright, there it goes. It liquefied. And we're set. Okay. Let me, um, let me use my voltmeter here because I want to see if, I want to see if, uh, the capacitors are still reading or if they have any juice in them that's like my main goal is to see if there's any let's see here where would that be at let me flip this over take another look at it okay so it's on the back side I bet it's there and there is probably where it is so let me set this back down alright and then we will we will try to get a reading out of it and there it goes. Whoa, 1.2, 1.3 volts. That's not too bad. And then this is where the other capacitor is soldered into the board. Nothing. Nada. Yeah, it's not reading. So I think our culprit is that right there. I think that's what went bad in the board. And I think that's the reason why the alarm clock don't work no more. Uh, so I went ahead and soldered this... Uh, I think it's a 1000 ohm resistor to bridge the two capacitors. So basically what I'm trying to do is when the power runs in, okay, it goes to the transformer and then the transformer, see that's that's the front lead to the transformer and that's the back lead to the transformer. So when the power comes in, it runs through the transformer, goes over and then goes into the board 
and then the board steps it down and distributes it as necessary. Well, with that power capacitor being out, if you look at the way the board is laid out, all the little grooves and channels, they actually tell you where everything is ran and what touches what. So what I tried to do was bypass the power and go straight to the board. So we're going to skip the uh, transformer and then with this ohm resistor uh, has to be on the positive side. Resistors always go on the positive, if I remember correctly, uh, to bypass the channel. So this one, I figured either this one was bad or this one's a bad. But either way, if I run the net into the channel, then it should hold. It should hold. Um, I mean, we're not talking about very much. I mean, the only thing is, is that these are 30 or 29 log wire, so I don't think it's going to hold a 120 volts being pumped through it that's why we're going to take this shit outside so yes all right so I went ahead and did what I wanted to do so all I got to do now is get this to sit back into place all right put this back on and take it outside and see what happens what's up guys what's up so we are in my garage right now and I went ahead and got it hooked up and I have the power cord running and all I'm gonna do is plug it in and see what happens I finished the build guys and it runs great that's for another video and then look I got two more bike frames that I'm gonna put those motors on and we're gonna try and see what happens then so alright without further ado what? shit Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh crap! Woo! Shit, that wasn't good. Oh my god, look at it. Oh man, I blew the whole back end apart and everything. Oh man, look how, look how foggy my garage is. Oh shit. Damn, look at the cord, it's black. Oh man, it's hot. Oh god. Them screws I put in it, where the hell did they go? Oh man, this right here was a failed attempt. Oh well, I guess that's why we shouldn't do these things, guys. Oh well. So, <laughs> so I'm going to clean up this mess and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like and subscribe, and I will bring more videos like this to you guys, hopefully. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and as always, y'all be cool. Peace.